Hi everyone, it's Yvette with Yvette's Junk Journal Shop on Kofi. You can find that on ko-fi and uh, again Yvette's Junk Journal Shop. So I sell journals that I make, supplies that I make, um, ephemera kits, things like that. I also sell uh, journals from artists all over the world on commission and then I also have a few suppliers that help me supply the shop with journal making supplies, um, ephemera kits, things like that. So in today's video I have just one journal I'm going to show you. This is a journal that I made. I recently completed it. It's from a kit, well I used a kit called Spring Fling from Night Pixie Designs on Etsy and I will put a link to the kit in my description box. So this is the first time I have made a journal with the tabs for a closure or for a spine. So I will show you that here. So on the front here I've got a piece of cardstock. It's a double cardstock cover. I've put some vintage trim on here, some little flowers. I made this little lace flower here and then I've layered up some lace, an image from the kit. And then as you can see on the side here, I have made these tabs. So this is a three signature. The two tabs on the end hold the three together. And then this tab and this tab are holding the first and second signature together. This tab and this tab are holding the second and third signature together. So you'll see that as I open it up here. It is a little bit of a chunky monkey because it ends up being sort of like a one signature, but there's three signatures in there. So in the top there you can see I've got some little lace sticking out, different things there. Um, the whole side has lace sticking out of it and then in the bottom here there's a lot of things going on. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. This is just a piece of lace here that I've put in with an eyelet. And again all of the, um, the kit in here is from Spring Fling from Night Pixie Designs and then I've used uh, coordinating cardstock. So in the front here I have a pocket with this uh, envelope that I made out of a tea dyed or coffee dyed envelope. It's got a piece from the kit on there and then a file folder on the back that just slides in here like this and this goes in that pocket. As you can see I've got washi tape, a little butterfly there. Uh, these tabs I made out of um, well all the tabs even the ones on the front here I made out of drywall tape. So um, I'll show you here. It's just this drywall tape and then on the back here it's got an adhesive so you can wet it and I found that it sticks really well to the fabric which is on the back of these and then I just glued the lace on the top of it. So where you see the fabric here that's on the side and then I stitched around the ones on the outside. It didn't, I did not stitch on the ones on the tabs. So here I just layered up the page there did a little stenciling and a pocket there. These are beautiful uh, coffee dyed papers from my friend Cheryl's. You guys have heard me mention her before. So just a really um, kind of open journal for writing. You've got little pockets here with little uh, journal cards in there, different sizes, different um, things on the back and just covered in cardstock so they're a little bit heftier not just the cutout from the kit. I've got a journaling card there and then I tried something a little different so each one of the uh, signatures are um, tied in and sewn in but I used some beading thread on there or beading um, I don't know what it is actually I don't know what they use it for but I use that um, instead on this one instead of regular cotton and it just comes in a roll like this and it's um, I don't know what they call it <laughs> the lady had some and I thought hey I kind of did a little test on it and pulled on it and it felt good so I was like I'm gonna try that and it worked out really well it's almost like a cord maybe that's it like a, a beading cord um, Anyway, and then here I've got some avocado dyed paper, 
This is an envelope that my mom gave me. I just took the tab off and I used the envelope in something else. A little bit of vintage lace here. This is from a pack from Melody. And then this flips up for a journal spot here. And it has a card here. This is a photograph. And then on the back, I've zhuzhed it up a little bit. So that photograph was a handmade card. This is a flip up. I thought this was cute because I thought it looked like a dress. So I went ahead and uh, put some trim up there. And this pops up and this is a journal spot. And then on the back of this is a journal spot. And then you could put a hidden spot there. Maybe a picture or you know whatever you'd like. And as you can see here, I'm going to zoom up on this a little bit here. So you can see these tabs are kind of, I'll run my hand under here, they're kind of see-through. And so the, the, the way the tabs open, it's really like a hinge on a cabinet. So um, I like the way that turned out. That was an experiment for me. And I just, I was going to do a prototype and I thought I'm just going to do it. So I did. Uh, this is cardstock here layered up with one of Joanne's pieces here. And then I did a little bit of drawing around there, put a little bit of lace on it. And then I really like this lace that I had, so I covered the whole journal card in that. This is a piece from the kit, and then I just put that on a piece of a uh, file folder. More of Cheryl's paper here. And I just made a journal card. This was made by Don and gifted to me, Don Orahood. This little thing here, I'm going to zoom in on that. So that is um, a little tab that my almost three-year-old grandson helped me make. So <laughs> his name is Ryder, and I call him B, short for Busy B. So he came in here the other day when I was making this, and I got out a couple stamps, and he made that, and he wanted it to go in my book. I was on this page, so I just stuck it right here. Um, I was working on this side, and he kept pointing over here, so I said, okay, we'll put it there. So... You get a little bit of writer in here too. So here's a piece from the kit and I've layered that up on the back with some paper and then also a little bit of Edith Holden here. This was a flap from an envelope and it was torn off so I just put it on here and I thought it was really decorative the way it was. And then I put a little cardstock on the back of this so that it's a little more secure. And then in here you can see uh, this picture that I just put on the outside of the envelope. This is from a magazine. And then we have a little bit of Edith Holden here. And it had the words down here what kind of flower this is. So I just put it on the envelope here. And then inside this envelope is a whole bunch of loose fussy cuts from the kit that you can use however you like in the journal. Those are not finished. And then I loved the way this kit was and just how beautiful it is. It's got a little bit of this golden kind of beads kind of go in here and there and I just liked how it looks so I've left most of those pages from the kit just plain. Here's a journal card here and then down here I've got a little staple that says love with a little cluster here and then I just put this on uh, this is a yard sale tag that I just put some stamping on and that's kind of loose on there it just kind of hangs sometimes it hangs out the bottom or sticks up here and that's fine. And a little trim up here. This is my rhododendron dyed paper. And then uh, I laid it out on the grass. And it the grass was kind of going brown on the tips. And it picked up all that brown. I thought that was really cool. This is an envelope here that I've coffee dyed up. Layered up some Edith Holden words. And then made a journal card for. And then this has a large journal card in the top there that slips in behind the envelope. This is from the kit. This is from the kit also. And as you can see, there's our third signature there with those tabs going down the center there. This was a card, and I cut out the hat and made a journal card out of that. Card stock behind. This is just a double-sided journal card out of that pretty paper from Sheryl's. Sorry if I, I'm kind of losing my voice, I realized. Um, 
Here's a belly band out of an Edith Holden picture with the words on the back layered up for a journal card. This flips out and has a journal card inside from the kit and layered on the back with some more Edith Holden. And then this just folds out. Uh, you guys know I like to do little hidden tuck spots, so that's in there. I know we're not really into spring right now. We're kind of transitioning into fall, but I just love this kit and wanted to use it up, so I did. This is a file folder that came with the kit. I lined it with some of Cheryl's paper, did a little bit of my doodling on there, and then I'm just slipping that over the page here and paper clipping that on. I have uh, this here with a tab. And again, I just left that plain, layered up a little cluster here. This is from the kit. A little washi tape assembly up there. So lots of room to write. Little tuck-ins for interest. Here's a little, just a little piece of that paper. It's so pretty. I don't want to waste any of it. Just like Edith Holden, I used a little bit there. So I save all tidbits from Edith Holden and Cheryl's. <laughs> And then this is from the kit. It's a journal card as well. And it, um, I made this file folder. Well, it is a file folder. And then I covered it and kind of put this little trim here. I didn't have a piece big enough, so I just trimmed it out. And then the back is all layered up. And that just opens up for a journal spot as well. And then I thought I'd just add a little interest by clipping that on there. You could use that somewhere else in the journal if you wanted. And then that slides into this Lois, uh, Lois, <laughs> this lace doily pocket. That's really hard to say today. Again, on the back, you'll see all those tabs lined up. And I leave my stitching just kind of messy. I kind of like that look. So there's the journal, and I'll tie it back up. So again, this is available in my shop, Yvette's Junk Journal Shop. Go ahead and check out everything in my shop. I have journals in there from different artists. I have some ephemera books that are great and fabulous. Uh, they've been there for a little bit, but I think it's because they keep going. As I add more items, they go further and further down. So you want to go in there. I do have uh, three sections in there. One is journals, one is journal supplies, and one is handmade ephemera. So journal supplies are going to be where you find your lace kits, your uh, paper packs, things like that. Um, and then... Your handmade ephemera is where you're going to find things that you put in a journal that are already made. So journal cards, tags, um, charms, dangles, things like that. And then, of course, journals is all the journals. So I hope you guys check it out. Uh, please go ahead and like my Kofi page. I am going to, I think I have about 73 or something people right now. So when I get to 100, I'm going to have a giveaway over on my Kofi. So please uh, check that out. I'll announce it here on YouTube as well. And pick up a journal for yourself, a little something for a friend, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.